What's up guys? Welcome back to the route shop. Today we're gonna keep working on these five identical, what I'm calling the five wish rods. So stick around, we'll be right back after these messages. What are these? These are a North Fork composite, seven foot, medium light, extra fast action blank. Tough blank, I boated a four pounder this morning on this blank on a rod I have built for as a casting rod and I lost the five plus at the side of the boat. I had to the boat twice, I just we couldn't get her lipped and we forgot about the net. So what we're gonna do is we are building these, uh, obviously they're spinning rods. This is the comfort grip, it's right in the palm of your hand. Uh, we're gonna be using microwave guides. I will we'll get started here in a minute. I'll put one in the wrapper. We'll go over layout. <clears throat> one of the things that we're gonna have to do with these blanks is, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can feel the outer carbon fiber on this blank. It is not a perfectly smooth blank. So wherever we're gonna put a label, we're going to have to do an undercoat of epoxy to get rid of this rough texture. I mean, it's not rough enough that it would bother you with your hand sliding down it, but a label will not look great on top of it. So I'll get one of these in a wrapper and we'll get started. Okay, while I'm getting this set up, I'll talk to you a little bit about the layout of these microwave guides. I've done a microwave guide rod before I just finished one the bass spinning rod and I just want to go over the details one more time this is very important about how you lay these out especially how you lay out the handle in because you're gonna need a spinning reel to do it so how I do this is I'll lock it down in my wrapper All right, I'll put a spinning reel on it. This is, this is a Cast King uh, 3000. So that's a pretty common size for an inshore salt rod. And I'm gonna rotate it till I get the spool the furthest point out that it's gonna be. And then I'm gonna mark where you can mark it where it is on the blank. I marked it on my, my masking tape here on my wrapper. So I've got, that is your starting point for the layout. <clears throat> now on the packaging for the microwave guides, you have <clears throat> guide spacing for your stripper guide, your transition guide, and your first running guide coming from that mark you just laid out at the furthest that the spool will extend and the reason you have those specific measurements is you want a smooth transition from real height down through your stripper guide, down through your transition guide, and into your first running guide. Okay, let's get rolling. Okay, on the back of the packaging, it's gonna give you recommendations for your stripper guide, your transition guide, and your first running guide. Let's get the tape measure. Starting from the mark you made at the furthest extension of your spinning spool, we're gonna lay out <clears throat> your first, your stripper guide is 19 and a half. Your transition guide is 30 and a half. And then your first running guide is 39 and 7 eighths. Then flip over the packaging. You're gonna have a chart right there that's gonna give you by length of blank because they don't know what the length of rod you're building. This is the seven footer. So you're gonna flip around. <clears throat> you're gonna start measuring from where your tip top would be, which I've got that marked already here. First running guide for a seven footer is two and seven eighths. Got that marked. Second guide, six and a quarter. Boom. Third guide, nine and three quarters. Boom. Fourth guide, 14 and an eighth. There we go. 
fifth guide is 16 and three quarters. Oop, can't read, it's 18 and three quarters. But we run into a snag because they don't know how long your blank is going to be. They don't know how long your handle system is going to be. Then you have to do a little bit of math. Now, we are absolutely certain where running guide one, two, three, four is. Five is supposed to be at 18 and three quarters, which I pulled it back a half inch, which I'll show you why. This running guide coming from the reel is fixed. You need that smooth transition of your line coming down. That is at 30, 29 and a half from the tip. <clears throat> what you do is this is a fixed point. This measurement worked out fine. I took these two guides and I spaced them at four and a half, five and three eighths, and then five and three quarters, just to get a smooth transition through the middle of your blank. These three are absolutely critical. These first three or four are very important to get a smooth parabolic bend when you're fighting a heavy fish. These guys in the middle, you're not really gonna get a lot of weight put on them, pulling them off the blank. The transition between them, they're gonna be close enough together with the little bit of bend you're gonna get in a blank at this part. Just get them evenly spaced. Everything will work out fine, trust me. Okay, we're all set up, ready to wrap. We've got our layout done. Uh, we're using the microwave air. They don't really have an insert. It's a pressed bevel, I guess, on the guide itself. Hopefully you can see that. They're super durable. Um, I'm gonna wrap black guides on a black blank with black thread. So you're not gonna be able to see anything anyway. So I'm gonna knock these out, get them all wrapped up. I'll come back when we do the epoxy and we'll do the epoxy in the area where we're gonna put our labels. If this is the first video you've seen from the rod shop, watch this video next to get caught up on all the basics in the 101 series. And if you're all caught up, watch this video next where we'll get busy with some epoxy and some other cool stuff. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.